Hi guys, uh, here we are with the latest creation from uh, Maverick Yachts. This is the uh, 440, which is the uh, demo boat. She is uh, yet to be commissioned. Brand new boat. All the equipment still carries its uh, original warranties. They are yet to be activated. And I can't help myself just to show you guys what a magnificent day it is in Cape Town. That is Table Mountain in the background. We are in Cape Town, as I said. Uh, the Maverick 440 is unashamedly built as a blue water cruiser and does an exceptional job at that. This latest model comes with Bimini seating on top, which is a, a new thing for Maverick, but they've incorporated it really well without making it look as though it was an afterthought. It is really stunning. The, Ma the Maverick principle is quite simply build the 4x4 of the seas. It is designed to spend extended, unsupported uh, voyages around the world and uh, they are well known for doing just that. If we just take a quick look at the davit system here absolutely wonderful not not a heavy looking contraption out the back again if you just look at this boarding ladder you know that's pretty much sums up their, their line of work everything is built to last and take whatever's thrown at it let's uh, step on board and uh, take a take a look around going to take my chances of hopping across here while we're here that is the engine compartment that I'm stepping onto now cockpit solid Bimini with opening uh, windows for access to the sails or viewing of the sails there's your life raft winch for pulling up uh, the dinghy Lovely alfresco table aft here. Another variation on this uh, latest model is that they've done away with the hammock seating that used to be over there and they've turned it now into a lazarette for all the toys that you might want to have water toys scuba diving gears, paddle boards, you know, all that type of stuff, um, which I think is a, an excellent idea. They've also swung the, the swim ladder from the port side to the starboard side, so that uh, when one is enjoying entertaining with one's friends at the alfresco table uh, and brying over here, this arm here swings out uh, and you have your bry so all the nasties drip directly into the water. That is just a storage compartment down there. These seats that they have here are absolutely magnificent. So you can be on the leeward side and just enjoy cruising. The primary winch, which is the, the forward one there, uh, that's electric on either side. All lines lead aft as could be expected. She's set up for flying big head sails. This is a nice touch as well. Um, this is a further table. Uh, it can be dropped down. You just need to pull this pin over here and it drops down and seats over there. So by doing that you've got so much more access uh, to, the, to the boat itself or to the cockpit. Far more usable area. If you could just bear with me while I open up. Engine hatch. There we go. Uh, those are the Yanma uh, 45 horsepower sail drive motors. The motors have, have been put in so that the stern, stern drive system is in the front of the motor, which means that you've got uh, wonderful access for changing belts and filters and all those good things. This is the uh, steering ram for a Raymarine 
And again, if you look at the connecting bar between the rudders, we're building a boat here that is designed to be able to take heavy weather, as we are accustomed to here in the Cape of Storms. If we just take a quick walk through the deck, while we're here, let's just have a look at the Helmsman's position. Uh, as could be expected of a boat of this stature, she has all the electronic toys that you could possibly have, including uh, scanning, uh, sonar, uh, uh, chain counter from quick with an automatic um, windlass up front, autopilot, um, chart plotter, fish finder, whatever else is going on there, there's a whole heap sailing instruments and uh, your your battery changeover switches while we're talking about that from a safety perspective she's also got a diesel polishing system and uh, transfer pumps so that if you happen to pick up dirty fuel you can polish the fuel here we have all the lines leading aft I'll come around from the other side so we're not looking directly into the Sun you notice you've got this lovely uh, walkway down the, the hull so you're not stepping over the, the hatches you may notice that these hatches are all on plinths so that the chance of water ingress through there is absolutely minimal the uh, bar rails or safety, safety rails are all solid this particular boat comes with the um, dual uh, bow seats trampolines uh, yeah so get your boom vang a couple of steps grab rail it's a double spreader mast heavy duty mast if we just have a quick look ah, maybe get to the other one We've got a heavy duty Rockner anchor here. Looks like a 25 kg Rockner. Large um, furling gear. Just lift this up. The windows will be under here. And uh, your chain drops down into a receiver below up and down controls of course this can be done from the helm as well just a storage locker it's exactly the same on the other side that's where the spare sails are kept you got your gas cylinders gas bry all those good things While we're here, we just have a quick look up the mast. That's double shrouds, heavy duty shrouds, and the anchor points are huge. And this is a lovely little step for gaining access to the, the deck uh, from when you moor it side on and are not uh, stern to. The uh, system on the mast uh, is a bat car system for raising the main stack pack lazy jacks and uh, yeah this is the the sun deck i'd call it on the bimini really useful area solar panel array We've got four panels here. The cushions up here, of course, have to be stored somewhere, and that's been taken into account by including them in this large uh, lazarette. Notice the tension to detail on the line handling. Oh, really, really good stuff. We can just get down here. So 
So rather than having lines running all over the deck, you've got dedicated sheets, storage facility. There's the electric winch. It's a nice angle to see the cockpit. As you can see up there, that is the little block and tackle system for raising the table. Again, if I can just give you an idea of how solid this stainless steel work is on this boat. Over there we've got the gas uh, supply for the cooker that sits on the arm that I showed you earlier. In there you've got um, deck, uh, deck shower, hot and cold, and then you've also got uh, deck wash, fresh and salt. Really like this seat. You can see someone has spent a lot of time at sea that designs a seat with these type of heavy duty handles, comfortable seating position. This seat will be uh, set to the perfect height of a new owner. All right, well, let's enter the saloon. There are a few changes from this model, uh, or to this model rather. In the earlier models, there was a, a little kid's bed in, in front. What they've done now is move the, the seating further forward, which has given a lot more space. There's your, your chart table, uh, dual helm station, and the boat uh, can be helmed from this position from there. That is double sink galley and uh, while I'm here it's got a huge macerator if I can just figure out how to get into it. Uh, uh, anyway, the macerator is in there and uh, it can chop up all manner of things including bone so your disposables are handled efficiently and not as much to be taken to shore. You've got uh, plenty of, of storage in all these different lockers, drawers. Oh, this is a rather nice feature here as well. Uh, this is uh, a dishwasher. This is a, a sliding window that opens all the way across, so you've got uh, good uh, interaction with your guests. As far as uh, cold storage is concerned, you've got dual fridge-freezer setups on drawers. There's just an example. A TV monitor, various switchings. Yeah, she it comes with the EPIRB and uh, life raft. As I said, none of this stuff has been commissioned as yet. This is a brand new boat. Uh, she is a four cabin boat uh, with two heads. While we're here, just have a look at this beautiful workmanship. Yeah. She's got, if I remember correctly, 600 amp hours of lead acid. We close here. This is the dish, uh, washing machine and tumble dryer all in one. Dropping down the companionway stairs. So if we start right up forward, port bow, this is your workshop storage area, which on a cruising boat is a very, very important part of the boat. We just back up a bit. This single berth here 
uh, it's been designed to double up as a double berth. That section just flicks over and then you've got a double berth up for it. And here we've got further electronics. And again, just magnificently done. That's a Victron Energy Quattro 3000 watt 120 amp hour inverter charger. We'll get to the primary cabins now. Just so much space on this 44 foot boat. Shower cubicle. As could be expected, electric heads. Lots of ventilation, lots of light, island bed. The bed itself, top of the bed is taking me just above my knee. So very easy access and uh, an important thing of this is that to make the bed uh, is particularly easy because you've got access from both sides. I'm not going to go through all the, the lockers uh, as could be expected on a, a boat of this stature that's designed for cruising. Every single usable space is storage space. This table is an interesting one. Uh, it can be used in its current configuration and uh, if you turn it like so uh, it can flick open either that way or you can turn it the other way and we can also flick it open like so so we can seat a number of people around here we just have a look at the the vistas that all these windows allow you. All right, so we're dropping now into the starboard uh, companionway and starboard hull. We start off this term, a mirror image of what we had on the other side. could be used as a little office space. Here we've got, again, lovely shower facility. I'm six foot and all of a dainty 115 kilos and I can fit in there very comfortably. Electric head. Again, we've got the same arrangement with either a single bed or opening up into a double. This is your vanity area and storage. Generator in there. As I said, this none of this has been commissioned. It's all brand new. This particular cabin that we're in now, which is the Starboard 4, is uh, made in such a way that it can be your captain's head or captain's cabin with head. There's the head. Basin. That step over there is so that he can go out the hatch there if he needs to. So he doesn't need to interfere with the guests. All, all the cabins have got fans and as could be expected, uh, air conditioning throughout. What she doesn't have is a water maker, which of course could be fitted. Sound system is a fusion sound system, six speakers, two on the flybridge, two in the cabin, in the saloon, two in the aft deck. Again, this is a lovely feature where from various angles, you can look through the sunroof 
and see the sails without going outside in miserable weather. There's a great deal that I've missed through this walkthrough, but I'll include all that in the specification sheet uh, if you so require. Just take a pan around here. All right, for the last time, we head out onto the aft deck, cockpit area. Golly gosh, uh, what I'd give to go cruising on this boat. Let's just have a look. This is a last thought. Let me just climb up into the helmsman's seat. And now you'll see, you've you can see all four points of the boat from the single position making mooring her in tight confines not as much of a challenge as you may think everything is right here I can reach it absolutely beautiful and just to reiterate she's a Maverick 440 the very latest launch she's the demo boat and is immediately available. For, me, for more information, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Thanks then. Bye.